Before proceeding, please make sure to subscribe to Dental Maniac and turn on the bell icon for upcoming videos. You can always support my work with your likes, comments, and shares. For latest updates, you can join me on Facebook and Instagram at Dental Maniac. For images and transcripts, please visit my Patreon page, the link for which is given here above. So, let's begin. The mandibular central incisors are the first teeth centralized in both sides of the midline. With the mesial of each one in contact with the mesial surface of the other and the distal surface of each one is in contact with the lateral incisors. Mandibular central incisors are the smallest and the simplest teeth in the mouth. The central incisor is slightly smaller than the lateral incisor. Just like other anterior teeth in the mouth, mandibular central incisors have got four surfaces and an incisal edge. Let's talk about each surface of the tooth in some detail. Starting from the labial aspect, the labial surface of the crown is smooth. It's flat at the incisal third, convex at the middle third and then tapers down to the cervical margin or cervical outline. Labially, the tooth has a mesial, distal, cervical and an incisal outline. The mesial and the distal outlines tapers in an almost straight direction towards the gingiva. The mesio-incisal angle which is formed by the union of the mesial and incisal outlines is sharp and so is the distal-incisal angle. The height of contour, which is the highest point of curvature, is located at the contact area near the incisal third. The incisal outline is straight and is approximately at a right angle to the long axis of the tooth. The root ends at a small pointed taper which usually bends slightly to the distal. From the lingual aspect, the mesial, distal and incisal outlines are almost similar to the outlines of the labial surface. The cervical outline curves evenly towards the root but is located further from the incisal edge than it is on the labial surface. The lingual surface of the tooth at the incisal and middle third is flat. It then becomes convex as it progresses towards the cervical margin. This convexity at the cervical third is made by the cingulum. The cingulum, however, is not as prominent as in the maxillary incisors, and no developmental groove marks this cingulum. The mesial and distal marginal ridges are inconspicuous. As these ridges are not so prominent, therefore, the concavity formed in between these ridges and above the cingulum, called the lingual fossa, is also not so deep. Mesially, the tooth has a labial, a lingual, cervical and incisal outlines. The labial outline is straight above the cervical curvature, sloping rapidly from the crest of curvature to the incisal ridge. The lingual outline is concave in the incisal two-thirds and then convex in the cingulum area or at the gingival third. The incisal outline or the incisal edge is slightly rounded and is slightly lingual to the central axis of the crown and root. The cervical outline curves incisally and the depth of curvature is approximately one-third of the length of the root. The mesial surface of the root is flat with its outlines almost straight at the cervical and up to some extent of the middle third. The outline of the root then begins to taper in the middle third of the root up to the apical third of the root and ends as a blunt or pointed root apex. 
The mesial surface of the root has a developmental depression at almost the entire length of the root. The distal aspect of the root is similar to the mesial aspect except for a few points. The cervical line curves incisally slightly less on the distal aspect than on the mesial aspect. The depth of curvature at the distal aspect is slightly less than that of the mesial surface. The developmental depression on the distal surface of the root is more marked with a deeper, more well-defined developmental groove at its center. The broader labiolingual width of the crown and root as compared to its mesodistal width can be observed on both mesial and distal surfaces. From the incisal aspect, the tooth has a labial, lingual, mesial and distal outlines. From this aspect, the labiolingual dimension is greater than the mesodistal dimension of the tooth. The incisal aspect of the tooth is straight and forms a 90 degree angle to align by bisecting the crown labiolingually. The labial surface of the tooth is more visible than the lingual surface. I hope this video helps. If you think this video was really helpful, please do subscribe and turn on the bell icon to get notifications on each upcoming video. If you have got any questions, you may write them down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.